What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro of course and this is the latest build as of right now. It is a test build but all the updates that I'm going to be showing you today will be implemented in the future updates or most of them are present in the current stable version too. So let's start from here. This is the 20th January 2020 build. And the security patch is of course the latest January 1st 2020 and the evolution X version is 4.0 and here if you notice that the Android version is 10 of course and the evolution X logo is up top this is for Rafael K20 Pro and the stock kernel over here is the immensity kernel let me go back from here and in the evolution settings you will find all the customizations we have the status bar customizations we have clock and carrier label etc customization you can change all the things font size etc for the clock and network traffic indicator is there and status bar items also there for the headset bluetooth etc icons and then we get the battery style etc here you can change it to dotted circle field and text etc and the battery percentage is still there of course you can set it to next to the icon and we have the battery percentage when charging and stuff then the vaulty icon and stuff is there and the vaulty bug has been fixed earlier you had to turn off and on the mobile data and stuff to get the vaulty icon but right now you do not have to turn any like toggle off and on the vaulty icon stays there like from the first boot you do not need to like set anything from here and you can change the vaulty icon to like these many icons like wallet and stuff is there then the asus kind of vaulty icon is there of course the vo is the like default one then we have the normal vaulty icon and stuff lot of vaulty icons are there no need to worry about those in the notification section we have the heads up and here we have the like edge lighting kind of notification those are working fine ambient display brightness you can change it and talking about the ambient display brightness there is a really interesting feature well if you're noticing right here the ambient display brightness looks like this and if you cover the top you will see the ambient display brightness kind of goes down as you can see so we have the auto brightness sensor actually working on the always on display and that makes a huge difference in like battery life and stuff and in the night it will like go really down like this as you can see and like if you keep in your pocket and stuff the always on display will just go off let me show you the fingerprint scanner unlocking speed now so as you can see the unlocking speed from the always on display and even from the lock screen itself is like really fast no issues whatsoever that I could find but 99% of the time I would say it does work but sometimes in the always on display it, it does die like it doesn't work from the always on display it takes two tries or something so yeah but the fingerprint scanner has been really improved from the past faster than MIUI in some cases I would say if you are noticing the unlocking speed here and then we get the blink flashlight on call vibrate on connect and call waiting and disconnect as well let me show you the in-call UI. So this is how the in-call UI looks like, but still we do not get the call recording option. Maybe we will get it if Google actually implements the recording option in the Pixel 4 dialer, but no, as of right now, you do not get call recording option by default, but vaulty calls are working fine here. Now time to go into the quick settings panel. Here we have the vibrate on touch and stuff, quick pull down, etc. Then column and row number like customizations. Then we have the quick setting footer text, settings icon and edit icon you can enable or disable it. Now let me go back to the power menu. We have the advanced restart working flawlessly. You do not need to worry. And talking about the flashing procedure and stuff, you just need to go into your recovery. From here, if you have the latest Orange Fox recovery, just flash the ROM file and the fcrypt disabler, then reboot if your storage is decrypted. So that is like how easy the flashing procedure is. Whenever you get a new update, you just can update it normally like just flash the latest build with the fcrypt disabler and reboot and it will reboot to your like new system i have been getting updates every day because the test build updates are like really frequent here and it is not public of course i would say the stable builds also are frequent updates almost like twice in a week so that's really great for this rom and in the gestures we have the aosp gestures then the swipe to take screenshot gesture brightness control from the status bar is working fine as you can see 
it is working flawlessly no issues whatsoever with the brightness control from the status bar and we have the screen of power button torch i tested it it does work status bar and lock screen double tap to sleep does work let me go back to the lock screen and here that feature is still there the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner i really really like this feature i don't have to enter my pin every time i reboot so that is a really great thing and in the fod pressed color you can choose the color right now to green or cyan so this is really great you can choose it to be miui style or the green of the custom roms so that's great the light it appears on the sensor and the fod icon picker is there still and you get like bunch of options as you can see there are plethora of options i'm using this captain america kind of colorful logo right now you can also use this white one and the iron man logo is there so yeah lot of options for the fingerprint scanner or the fod icon picker and we have the status bar option if you want to display it on the lock screen you can and clock and date option is there you can change the clock font size like i did and you can even change the like clock font style of course like this lot of fonts are there you can even change these like fonts as you can see lot of options are there too let me go back i'm using the one plus kind of font and charging info and charging animation is working fine the 18 watt fast charger is working fine too i have tested that it is working we have the navigation option we have the nav bar tuner invert layout and we have a enable controls whether the navigation bar is displayed well i don't know what is this but yeah it is there if you are using the two button or three button navigation this will really help you and for this android 10 gestures yes you can hide the pill right now of this android 10 gesture you can simply hide the pill use the full real estate of the screen let me go into the hardware buttons now and here we have the volume key answer then the playback control volume key cursor etc options and then we have the animation option you have the scale or crt you can choose crt if you like it the like old tv style locking animation here and here we have the animation duration control and then all the whole ui animation you can control it from here quick setting toggle animation you can control it from here and in the misc settings we have the gaming mode wake up on charge disabling option and charging animation again is there and it does work usb configuration you can set it to file transfer so that whenever you connect your usb to the pc it will go into the file manager and here we have the dashboard condition and stuff signature spoofing etc options i don't really need them let me go back and talk about another interesting feature that i'm finding over here well this is this like caption kind of feature this is a universal caption like whenever you play a video or something if you have it enabled like this you can just go to the youtube and like let's assume you're playing a video like this so whenever you are playing a video like this and if you have this live caption enabled even if your volume is like turned down all the way you can see what the video is saying over here as you can see on the screen this you can like place anywhere on the screen like this and this is a really cool feature i like thought about mentioning it this is a really cool feature that it shows on the screen so that if you are in a public place where you cannot really turn up the volume so even then you can play the video and see whatever the video is saying so that is a really great feature i would say to i wanted to mention this to you guys because i'm really liking it and by the way you can do that even on offline videos what should i tell you more this is like the best kind of rom that i have been noticing over here for the redmi k20 pro and even for the note 7 pro and note 5 pro like whichever device you have this evolution x should be pretty good to flash and the stock camera over here is the miui camera as you can see and we have the all the lenses working over here no issues with that and even slow motion 960 fps videos and stuff will be working great no issues with that and the latest gcam 7 i have also installed it and it is working flawlessly too and here if you are noticing you can switch also to the wide angle camera and stuff if you would like and night sight and stuff is working fine of course with the gcam and this is how the battery settings looks like you can see the temperature and stuff for the battery and the battery life i would say is pretty decent not bad at all you can get definitely about 7 plus hours of screen on time with this rom like a full day of usage you can pretty easily get and pubg works on the extreme and hdr settings no issues with those and the widgets and stuff are working fine still we get a pixel launcher over here by default to the left we got the google now cards and if you scroll down you will get the quick settings panel and then you can like swipe up to get the app drawer and stuff those things are working fine the ram management is flawlessly good and if you go into the display settings you will find the lock screen display over here and battery level on the bottom and stuff is there 
and always on is enabled of course because i'm using the always on display double tap to check phone and stuff is there and there is the night light option it is working fine live display option is there so that you can change the color calibration if you would like and the picture adjustment etc and then there is the styles and wallpapers and of course we get the live wallpapers and stuff by default over here dark theme you can enable it from here or you can use the toggle and here if you scroll down you can get the double tap to wake it is working fine and the accent colors are here lot of accent colors you get no issues whatsoever with these accent colors let me go back in the headline and body font and there are plenty of fonts too you can choose like whole system font from here so that is great and in the sound settings if you want the me audio direct it is listed on the bottom and you can choose it to youth edition or whatever headphones you have and the fonts right now it looks a little bit bolder so i like it i like this bold kind of thing over here in the options whatever headphones you have you can use them with these presets and there are also like these kind of equalizer presets and enable hi-fi audio if you have a great headphone you can use this for like playing good headphones with the 3.5 mm headphone jack and that works fine too the audio like quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is decent and it is really great i would say and we have the like ring notification alarm etc volume kind of thing enabling option here screenshots are the sound and stuff you can display it from here and in the system if you go into the front camera effects you get these kind of sound effects and you can choose whatever you want and the front camera led and stuff is working fine let me show you as you can see the front camera led did work sound and stuff is working fine too with the front camera and the google pay and stuff works right out of the box also the me calculator right now works pretty fine no issues with that and like everything pretty much working fine over here in this rom so i can definitely recommend you guys flashing this rom right now so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share this video with your friends if you like this rom on the redmi k20 pro thank you so much for watching this video again this is tito from kerry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now